what is going on ladies and gentlemen it's your boy hunter x here bringing us another episode of exigence Whew, that is a lot to say with that being said let's get into today's episode Alrighty guys, you might be wondering what the hell are we doing inside the nether? Well, I just remember that I have two ancient debris sitting here waiting for me to mine them up. And today I was like, you know what? I am so sick of this. We are going to make the netherite, uh, what is it called? The, the mesh, netherite mesh that we need. Now, the only problem is we've got to find emeralds or find a way to get emeralds because we need the emerald mesh and there i don't think there's a good way uh you oh i did get some of those geodes oh that's a four percent chance an eight percent chance a ten percent chance so that is a good way of getting emeralds is through those geodes i did get some of those geodes because i did do a little bit of mining in between episodes waterlogged sieve with a diamond mesh Ooh, actually it looks like you can get that with a diamond mesh so we actually well we're gonna make a diamond mesh that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna work our way up the meshes i think to see what we can do I'm going to go ahead. Actually, can I double this? Uh, didn't we make the AE grindstone thing? I don't remember. It's fine. We'll just cook it up anyway. It's not that big of a deal right now. We'll just, we'll, we'll do what we, what we have to. Cause I think once we get this netherite mesh, it unlocks a lot of potential. As you can see, like gravel actually kind of gives you a lot of stuff. I mean, it doesn't give you everything like it normally would in like, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to explain. And like, say like, for example, Project Thousand, when you got the diamond mesh, it unlocked everything for you. It doesn't seem like that is the case in this scenario. Uh, we need, don't we have like an extra string mesh somewhere in one of these chests? I mean, if not, we can just go ahead and make one. Uh, I think we need flint as well. And the only way to get flint, to my knowledge, let me let me double check this. Because the way that I was getting it was getting it through. Okay, no, we can get it through the fiber mesh, which needs sticks and grass fiber, which is three of those. Which, I mean, we could probably do that, right? I mean, that's not too hard to make one of those. We just need a bit of grass, which we need to sleep because that's the one thing that just bugs me about 116 is the phantoms. They're the most annoying mob in Minecraft ever. Uh, we need boner meal. So let's grab some bone meal here. Grab this, do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of the clipping action, the lawn mowing action. Uh, we need exactly four. Go ahead and delete that. Don't need it anymore, at least. And then we need some sticks. Also, that mob farm is very good, by the way. It's working as intended, I think. Hmm. Of course, the moment I look over there, there's no mobs. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, It's still not working. Maybe it's clogged. Because, you know, it could be clogged. It's five not four god damn it okay just do a little bit of that that shouldn't be that hard get some of those and extra plant fiber boom bada bing bada boom and that should be good get that then the four of those it's one of those and then i can delete this because i don't need this anymore and then that plus gravel will get us the flint that we need. I'm assuming this takes durability damage when you use it. Yep. All right, there's 14 uses left on that. 
So we'll go ahead and put that away. We don't need it per se at the moment. You plus six flint will give me a flint mesh. And I'm hoping that it is iron and not iron blocks. Okay, iron mesh. And then we need six diamonds, which I happen to get a little vein of diamonds um, in between episodes of when I was mining. So that's good. And now we have a diamond mesh. Now, I'm not sure if this sieve is waterlogged or not. I mean, it sure looks like it. So I'm hoping that it is. But yeah, storage is a big kind of issue at the moment. Oh, we have six string meshes. Nice. <laughs> That's always nice to know that my my resources are going to waste. There is a lot of oh, that's uranium. Don't want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of that. Yes. And maybe that iron nugget as well. And these pebbles do not belong in here. We got to find a better storage solution. Because right now storage is not it, man. Not it at all, if I'm being honest. Uh, what are you? Music disc, C8. Okay, well, we can go put this over at the mob farm. I mean, obviously, the more I'm over here crafting and doing stuff you know the more that the more monsters that we can get to spawn oh i disabled the trinket okay spider trinket come up here do a couple pokes you know maybe get a flight totem or no totem at all that works too that works too okay so now that i have the diamond mesh and the waterlogged sieve it looks like we can just do a little bit of the this with the gravel that's not gravel wait i also wanted to look at this and see the best way to get more scrap out of that that's one to one arc furnace is two to one crushing it gives you three one two one uh induction smelter uh two but again we don't have access to that technology yet okay so there's nothing that we can really do we need four scrap basically but also i think in diamond meshes you have like a 0.8 percent chance of getting another right scrap so basically non-existent chance i mean 0 0.8 is pretty non-existent uh, let's see if this is working i mean i don't know if it's working because i don't seem to be getting anything okay do you get lead chunks from waterlog you do get lead chunks and it's a 10 percent chance of course it's a 10 percent chance because i mean why would it not be 10 percent right and i just got uranium i don't need that i need emeralds i just got another diamond that's actually perfect because that way we can repair our stuff imagine if i get another right scrap imagine like a 0 0.8 percent chance that would be incredible i can't believe is, is that even possible to get a piece of another right scrap from this if it's 0 0.8 percent like what are the odds of getting one netherite scrap in 0 0.8 if it's a 0 0.8 percent chance i mean i guess that also depends on you know what you're receiving too right that's technically not my first emerald i think i used my first emerald on something anyways i'm gonna go hammer up some cobblestone <laughs> to oblivion and continue uh sifting here and we just need six emeralds that's all we need so i'm gonna i'm gonna get the six emeralds and we'll be right back all righty guys so i i, I did a thing I went ahead and did some mining in the nether 
and got myself some ancient more ancient debris and i also got seven emeralds from doing the good old sifting so i believe what you got to do is you got to smelt this yes very much i'll take that split this again put some that that in there uh yeah we've got a lot of stuff we also got a lot of coal as well which is nice so let's go ahead and do this and let me make sure oh what the heck what was that okay you're the not nuggets no we don't want the nuggets we want the pieces uh that's so weird that they make you do that but okay it's fine it will have to do it will have to do for now i want to add a couple more to that ah i didn't see that until just now that's cool actually all right so there's our four scrap and we do need a little bit of gold i think for this to work I think it's one piece of gold, right? Four scrap, one piece of gold. Uh, for the netherite ingot. Netherite ingot. Enchanted netherite ingot from armor plus. What does that do? Oh, enhanced netherite armor. Well, we don't have enough netherite for that anyway. So we're not doing that. What we're doing is making ourselves is that not how you make another right ingots how do you make oh i see now so you can't actually craft it in this pack you have to make the alloy kiln okay so that's something new alloy kiln let's see what that entails for us or no the uh i think it's called a kiln kiln bricks this stuff yeah and i wonder if this needs to be like superheated or anything like that i don't know how much of this i'm gonna need uh well it's a for eight i think i need like a total of eight so i need a little bit more sand for this yeah, let's also take a nap because we're a little sleepy if you will so we need the alloy kiln to do this that's fine we can we can whip up one real quick i think bricks need clay okay we have a ton of gold some more baked potatoes oh you know what we should also make one of those for one of these for baked potatoes because that would be really good actually now that i'm thinking about it that would be phenomenal if we can get one of those going for that uh what i come over here for again oh i was looking for some stuff i guess we're gonna have to make some more sand oh i was looking for clay all right so we have a little bit of clay here but it's not exactly how much i need but we do have this right here so that's fine where did i is my thing still here it is not it's probably over here huh no wait where's oh over here right because i did a little bit of automation or something like that all right that's enough we just now need sand and a little bit of it so i'm just gonna quickly do the good old trusty hammer good old trusty hammer uh it's four per i think so that's fine I just used the wrong thing because I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. I promise. Jesus. Minecraft is not my strong suit today, I feel like. 
Okay, some gravel. Also, like the most annoying thing right now is like dealing with cobblestone. I don't think we have a proper trash can in this pack. I don't I actually haven't looked to see if we have like a proper trash can kind of thing. Okay, so that's enough sandstone. And we need eight of these. Now here's the question. My question is, does this gonna need to be superheated? I mean, not that superheat is superheation or superheating is gonna be a problem. Problemo. But uh so sandstone plus that. That's the exact opposite of what I wanted. I hate this, bro. This it's annoying, is what it is. Okay, you're in there. You're in there. So you do need to be superheated. It looks like. Well, that's kind of annoying. Not really. I just need to make the cake bakes. Which means I think I need to borrow this. Right? Because we need the blaze cake. Blaze cake. Right? So we need a blaze cake. Yeah, so we need this basin. And then... What I need to do is have you broken, picked up. All right, so that means we need more of that stuff. Okay, so what are we looking for? For blaze cakes, we need this, which needs sugar, eggs, and cinder flour. So sugar. Okay, so we need sugar. Dude, I do not have the inventory space for this at all. Crimson cactus. There's more gold chunks. There's another egg. Okay. And then here's the cinder wraith stuff that we need. And now let's go put this away. Or let's go make this real quick. There you go. Boom, boom. That's going to press it down. And then the depot will go here. You will fill. You will do this. That will make the blaze cake that we need. And then make that superheated. And then sandstone. Oh, wait, it's not clay. It's bricks. Crap. Uh, I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste it. I don't know how much time I have. It's not bricks. It's clay. I forgot. Oops. I just wasted that. Break me. Okay. I'm going to be smart about this. Where is... This is going to be a bad idea. But I don't want to waste... That blaze. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cardboard box it. And, and hope and hope that it doesn't break it because knowing my luck it would probably break it <laughs> knowing my luck honestly it would probably break it so we'll be right, right back once this is done all right guys here is the moment of truth is this gonna break the recipe or is it not gonna break here is the moment of truth as soon as i can get it inside the stupid freaking thing Uh, of course, can I just click it in? No. Because of course not. Why would you be able to... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me put the two damn clay away. So that way... It stops being stupid. And I'm able to just... Okay. Okay. Don't do that. All right. Take that off. Oh, it didn't break it. Okay. Okay, that's good. That is so good that it didn't break it. <laughs> okay. So now, if we just want to keep it superheated... Never mind. It's not superheated anymore. So you lose the superheation 
mode once you put a cardboard box on it got it that's fine this recipe doesn't require it to be superheated anyway it looks like so that's pretty good and i should be able to come over here i should have also smelted up gold while i was waiting that would have been a smart thing to do while waiting that's all right we've got this we've got to do a small other things anyway like upgrade our our diamond mesh and stuff to be proper but i need what do i need from you right now i need uh, my hammer wherever my engineer's hammer is it's somewhere it's in my hand right now but it was somewhere originally all right come over here 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 oh what'd you look at that the alloy kiln mm-hmm yep that's right what a savage all right cool 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 and you should be done and then i'm just gonna get can i use coal pieces in this because that would be super fantastic if we can right saving on the coals even though i don't really need to per se for those for those and that's gonna give us our very first piece of netherite which is pretty pog and i think we need the smithing table hopefully this isn't too hard nope it's just four wood and some iron i am so thankful for that awesome this is gonna seriously upgrade us like really good like we're gonna mm, everything's gonna be so good now because we now have this beautiful oh it we don't have it yet we've got to make it still um the netherite sieve or whatever you want to call it um the emeralds that we need six emeralds and bada bing bada boom put the diamond one in there boom and we need the smithing table to be able to do the next piece that we want so two of you four of you boop and i'm just gonna put you inside the wall and that's good emerald mesh plus this is a netherite mesh mm. so what can this be used for i'm gonna tell you what it can be used for one you can get look at the the big chance 45 percent chance now to get most of this stuff like i mean 15 percent chance for this stuff that's still pretty high i feel i mean and look at all this like 45 percent chance for all of this stuff here and then waterlogged doesn't get you too much but it gets you emerald lapis diamonds and well i thought crushed netherite i thought there was a way to get through the wait netherite is it only obtained through the diamond mesh uh let's see netherite scrap or is it the ancient debris ancient debris could be got i could have sworn there was a way uh let's look at crushed netherrack i think it was with crushed netherrack is what i was looking at oops uh crushed netherrack has okay so an iron mesh is 0 0.04 and it's only in a diamond mesh that you can get that stuff interesting 
and that's the only way to get niter and sulfur is through that okay so each mesh looks like has their own way of getting things oh that's what it was it was the encased fan the encased fan is what we wanted right so if we look at gravel really quick we might yeah we might we might want to maybe make the encased fan uh the encased fan can get us all these resources but again it it's very little and it's still a percent chance to get these things right so i'm not really sure do we have some sort of auto sieve we do but i'm i'm assuming that needs power we have some sort of coal generator yes but it requires lots and lots and lots of stuff to even air wait oh no latex never mind latex okay so yeah this is like pretty far advanced we're, we're not quite there yet so now i guess the big bigger question is what do we do from here I guess maybe looking at better storage. I mean, what can we get from sifting gravel? We can get gold, osmium, tin, copper, lead, nickel, aluminum, silver, uranium, iron, and zinc. Which, I mean, that's actually pretty good. And then... If we waterlog it, we can get emerald, lapis lazuli, and diamonds. Which, technically, you would want to get the iron. You, you want to get the iron from here to get more of these netherite sieves. And obviously, probably the best way to get ancient debris, in my guess, would probably be mining in the nether for said um stuff okay so i have an idea i think i want to upgrade to nine by nine sieves so i'm gonna have to do the math on we already have one so we need nine more technically because i need nine here and one more here so i'm gonna have to figure out how much ancient debris that's gonna be because it's one so it's well, it would be nine times four, which would be 36 scrap, right? Because we need a total of nine ingots. So, yeah. Okay, so about 36 ancient debris. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and mine that up in between episodes or whatever and, and, and get that done. But anyways, guys, unfortunately, it is time wrap up today's episode i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap it up a little bit early i think we've got a lot done in this episode but anyways with that being said if you guys did enjoy today's episode please do me a huge favor smash that like button smash that subscribe subscribe button ding dong that notification bell become a part of the hunter tribe we are on our way to 400 subscribers but not only 400 subscribers but our goal is 500 subscribers but with that being said make sure to follow me on all my social medias including my twitch that will be linked down in the description down below as always guys i'm gonna love you i'm gonna leave you till next time